so guys i should have just listened to my mind you know so as i'm recording this podcast i have watched just two episodes of my devil because it's just two episodes that has come out and guys i have to tell you these two episodes are super amazing oh my god so hi guys welcome to nigerian korean lover podcast in this episode i'm talking about my devil my reviews so far it's just two episodes that have come out okay so guys let's enjoy this episode together i'm your host kadi so i don't know why i keep saying my devil my devil the name of the drama is my demon guys hello my name is kadi and welcome to nigerian korean lover podcast here on my podcast i hope that you feel like you are living the korean culture through me and um, experiencing the korean culture in nigeria and also you join me while i review korean drama and also um, recommend korean drama to mention a few so every week on this channel you hear me talk about korean alone wave which involves k-drama k-pop korea and nigeria to mention a few this would be like a conversation or a lot of chats on the experience my feeling with relation to k-drama it's k-pop and k korea life in nigeria i'm excited to try out this podcast and i hope you join me on this amazing journey while we go through korea and nigeria so guys i'll try my possible best not to give a spoiler but then it's so not sure okay so my name is kadi and i'm the host of um this podcast and I'm basically talking about my demon. It's a Korean drama that is currently epim airing, and just two episodes is out. So the drama is about Eris Dodo He. She's seen as an adversary to many, and Jung Koo Woon, who is a powerful entity, is a demon. So somehow, somehow, two of them met, and when they met, something happened, and he lost his power. So now he's trying to figure out how he lost his power. He's trying to let her know that he's a powerful entity. And he basically wants him and her to collaborate, to work together, to regain them. But then there's a little bit of chemistry and sparks that is flying between them as they embark on this journey. So I'm going to go to episode one. Yeah. And what I want to do is just talk about the cast and you know everything okay so our cast our main cast in this drama is none other than our favorite <laughs> i think i need a drum roll guys it's not other than our, fa- our favorite um k-pop actor and he looks so masculine and so handsome in this drama i think maybe because he lost his way so we have kim young jun in this drama we have song kang in this drama we have lee young lee sang in this drama okay so song kang is the drama with you know acting in the place of jung won is so masculine guys i didn't know how it translated from the normal you know song kang that we know to this entity and then kim young ju which is asking the female cast is dodo he we have lee song yi lee song yi who is um jo seok hyun okay so this drama so far has a lot of um i don't know it has a lot of underground story we're just starting and episode one we have her meeting him you know in guise of it was an accidental meeting you know with jogo one and she but she's flustered for someone who doesn't you know care about people you know an heiress now they call her like the the ms the devil of ms you know anyway for her now having like a form of attraction towards him you know just made the drama amazing and he just wanted to be left alone in the hotel anyway sorry in the e-tree so anyway um 
this episode, the episode one is titled Living in the Mist and it's basically just talked about the accidental meeting between Jungo Won and Dodo E. And then we see the family intricacies where she introduced the um the manager, you know, introduced uh the people that we're gonna see in the drama. I see them as her enemies, her adversaries because so far it seems like she's going to have like a strong battle with all of them because of she is a favorite to the owner of a company okay and yeah so she had the woman has i don't want to give a spoiler guys but then just know that there is a family that she is with as a how will I explain it? As an adopted child, so it's like everybody's against her, but they are smiling to cover it up, okay? So anyway, now, somebody wants to kill her. She becomes a victim of an attack, and because of... They wanted to kill her, um, Jungo Moon, which is our demon, my demon, <laughs> came to save her. But, you know, before he saves anybody, you have to sign a contract. But somehow, somehow... We just wanted to kill the guy and didn't sign the contract. So we can see that something happened. So there's this beautiful cross on Demon's hand. That's Jungle One. It's somehow transferred to the hand. So now we need to figure out how to get this cross back. Because without this cross, it seems like he has lost his power. And that takes us to episode 2, which is titled, Everyone has a demon in their heart. So we can see in this episode that he has lost his power and... He tried to go and collect his contract, but he couldn't. And they beat him up because he didn't have his power. His assistant put him water, trying to see if he has his power. It's a whole long story. He's trying to figure out how to get his power back, you know. And he tried to, you know, um, to make um, attempts of the events that happened before he lost his power. So, you know, he went to find Dohi. And he believes that she's the key to regaining his power. But then he keeps trying everything, jumping into the ocean, um, car accident and stuff like that. But his effort to take back his power and his abilities have been backfiring. So guys, um, after this part, we see that somebody's trying to kill her. Somebody tried to pour her acid, but he saves her. And there are other parts. I don't want to give spoilers, but that's what happened. And now, so this is just my own view. First of all, the intricacies and the family drama is going to be so much in the drama. In this K-drama, that's what I feel. And then I feel like, God, their chemistry is going to be superb, guys. Like, the fact that her heart is beating for him. And I feel like he's going to like her so much that he's not going to realize that he likes her, he loves her. And it's going to be like... um um this k drama i'm trying to remember the k drama um that the guy is a a a so collector debt debt yes that he, his job is to doom yes doom at your service if you remember doom at your service you can see how the story goes where she wished for doom she's the first person ever for doom anyway i feel like that's 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 the feeling that's the vibe i'm getting from this drama so I am super excited about the drama. I can't wait, guys, for episode 3. I don't know how I got myself into this, guys. But I'm going to wait for episode 3. And I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch episode 4. And let's see how it goes, guys. So thank you for listening to this episode of this podcast. Um, check out my other podcast episodes. And then you can share and subscribe to my different um, platforms, okay? I'll see you guys. Bye.